Hello everyone, it's Jessica, and today's video is going to be about my wisdom teeth removal experience. I had this done back in November, and it's towards the end of January now, so it's been a little bit since I've had it done, but I wanted to make a video about it, because whenever before I actually had my wisdom tooth removal done, I was panicking, I was totally freaking out, and I searched everywhere for just to see what it was like, you know, trying to find information of how it went for other people because I was just terrified beyond belief. So to start off, I actually only had three wisdom teeth. The fourth one, for some reason it runs in my family, it just doesn't ever come in, doesn't exist. So I got lucky where I only had three. But I was unlucky in another aspect. My bottom one was actually growing horizontal, so it was very, very crooked. And I've known this for quite a while. I've just been putting this surgery off because I was so scared. I've never had a shot in the mouth. I've never had an eye... Well, I guess I should say I had because I have now. But I had never had an IV put in my arm and never had, you know any of this done. So I was just really scared. And you hear all these horror stories about what happens to people, you know, in surgeries or specifically with wisdom teeth removal. So I was just really, really scared about having this done. So I put it off for a long time, which wasn't good. If I, if anyone has the option to get it done early, get it done early, especially if you have a crooked one like I did. And the reason is because of facial nerves that are down here near your jaw. Well, when one of your bottom wisdom teeth grows crooked, it can actually grow into that nerve where they cannot remove it, period. Or if they do, it's very, very risky. Or it could get close to it. Or if they bump that nerve, you can have permanent numbness in your face. So... When the oral surgeon told me that, that freaked me out even more than I was already freaked out. But I wanted to get it done because it's just going to keep getting worse. And plus, I'd like to get braces to fix these jacked up teeth. So I was going to push through and have this surgery done just to get it over with. And I'm really glad I did. So whenever I went in, he gave me the option to either have local anesthetic where you're actually awake during the procedure or IV, and I decided to go with IV because, like I said previously, I have never had, well, I had, I don't know why I keep saying have, I had never had a shot in the mouth or anything, so honestly the shot in the mouth kind of terrified me more than anything else, <laughs> which is kind of stupid, but it's the honest to God truth. That was probably the most scariest thought for me was having the shot in the mouth, but and he told me if you had the local, like, you know, you don't feel pain or anything, but you can feel pressure and you can obviously, like, see them, you know, yanking at your tooth. So that scared me. Since my bottom one was pretty bad and extremely crooked, I decided to go ahead and go with the IV anesthesia because that way I can't move, like, I can't cause a mess up or anything because I was so scared of this nerve being bumped or damaged and having like permanent numbness to my face. To start off, the night before you have your surgery done, you can, I think for me it was I couldn't eat past midnight, but you know it's been a little while ago so I don't remember exactly, but you have to have so many hours before your IV or surgery that you can't eat because like you can actually like start like kind of regurgitating food, I think it was. I can't remember, like, the exacts of this, but it can make you choke to death, basically, or it can make, like, all this stuff go inside your lungs where it's not going to be a good day. So, anyway, I didn't do that, obviously. I did not eat anything past midnight or whatever the time period was. I can't exactly remember. So, the day of the surgery, I was a total mess. I was freaking out, and also I recommend... Wear some comfy clothes, because when you get done, you're going to be totally out of it. So when you get home, you can just pass out. So, once we got to the doctor's office, we, um, I didn't have to wait very long. So then the actual surgeon came in, and they were going to do the IV, and I was so terrified, because I thought it was just going to be horrible. 
But it really wasn't that bad. It's just, you know, it just feels like getting a shot in your arm. And actually it hurt less because the needle's really tiny and... I think it helps, you know, when you don't look, too. Like, I looked away whenever they stuck me with the IV. And honestly, all I remember was he told me, okay, I'm getting ready to put the IV in, and then boom, nothing. I was out, I remember nothing. I have no recollection of anything. So, when I woke up, like, I wasn't, I don't even know. I, I wasn't like fully awake because they kept having to wake me up because I just kept like falling back asleep. I remember them telling me that I needed to keep my eyes open because that helps the anesthesia to wear off. But it really knocked me out. It knocked me on my butt. <laughs> so, like I said, I was in and out of it. Like I kept falling asleep and they kept waking me up. So then they had to take me out to the car. My husband basically had to carry me out to the car because like I was so out of it but the ride home I actually told my husband to record me because I thought it would be really funny but he didn't record me because he said I just slept the whole time and he kept having to wake me up and it's funny because you know I was so paranoid about like having them hit the nerve in my mouth so he said every time he'd wake me up I would just be like they hit the nerve. So, I mean, that was all I was worried about. That's all I was saying. So, I didn't have a very funny experience anyway. So, if you took a video, it wouldn't really have been that funny. But I just find it a little humorous that that's, like, all I was saying. I was hoping I'd say something really hilarious, but... Oh, well. When we got home, Shane basically had to carry me inside because I was still really, really out of it. But at this point... I was not in any pain. I just felt really like loopy or tired. I was mostly just tired. And um, so I went and got on the couch and he made me eat a some applesauce and yogurt, I think it was. I can't really remember because before you take your pills, you gotta have some food in your stomach. So anyway, I ate that and then I had to keep ice on both sides of my face for the swelling. And I didn't take the pills right away because the pharmacy didn't have them done whenever we went there. So we had to go back to actually get the pills. I laid around for about an hour with no pain kills, just, you know, what was left over from my surgery wearing off, the anesthesia and whatnot. So about, you know, getting close to an hour, I was actually really, really starting to hurt. So I was like, Shane, we have to go get these pills because, like... It is killing me right now. So we left, we got the pills, and whenever we got home, I took them right away. Cause, I mean, I was really, really starting to hurt. Like, it was like almost making me cry because I was hurting so bad. Like, I'm not used to having a lot of pain. I've never like broken any bones or any serious injuries or had surgeries, yada, yada, yada. So I've never really had like a pain like that, I guess you could say. So anyway, I was hurting really bad. So I took my pills, I took the Oxycontin and whatever the other drug was. And honestly, after that, I felt great. I didn't have any issues until about two or three hours later when the Oxycontin made me so sick to my stomach. Like, it was horrible. I mean, that was even... Honestly, I would have rather stuck with the pain rather than throwing up. It was horrible. So I was laying on the couch sleeping, you know, with my ice packs on. <laughs> and all of a sudden I woke up. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. I feel so sick. And Shane was afraid to have me walk on my own because I was still like really shaky. So he went to help me get up to go to the bathroom and like I couldn't even hold my throw up in, which has never happened to me. I got up and started walking to the bathroom. Just ugh, it started coming out. And it was everywhere. And I had on these new unicorn pajamas that I bought. And I got them on those. And I got it in my hair. It was all over the floor. It was just... It was horrible. I mean... And then once I, you know, finished, I just started panicking. Because I'm like, oh my god. I'm probably going to get dry sockets now. So I was just so upset. And I was so worried about getting dry sockets from, you know, all the pressure from throwing up. But I didn't get them, thank God. 
So after that, I was totally fine. And through the rest of my healing process, I just used Tylenol. And honestly, I, that managed my pain really good. I could feel a tiny bit of pain throughout my healing process. But it was very manageable. It was not bad. So I can tell you one thing. I don't ever want to take that Oxycontin again because that was terrible. So... <laughs> Oh, and also a note, when you have this done, you cannot drink from a straw because that can, you know, pull out the, um, what's it called? Oh, the, the clotting from whenever you have the surgery done and it can give you dry sockets. So that's why I was so terrified whenever I was throwing up that I was going to get dry sockets because, you know, it's a lot of pressure, you know, whatnot. Ugh. So the first day... I only had a little bit of swelling and it was on the side where my bottom tooth was. Oh, I, did, I guess I didn't really explain this in the beginning. The wisdom teeth I had, I had two top ones and one bottom one. So just to clarify that. But I didn't really have any swelling on this side. It was only the side where I had the bottom one taken out where they had to do a lot of work, you know, to get it out since it was growing like really horizontal and crooked. The first day the swelling wasn't that bad, like I said. The second, the third, the fourth day, I, it was horrible. Like, my face was so swollen. I mean, my cheek was so swollen, I couldn't close my mouth all the way because it was, like, going underneath my teeth. That's how swollen I was. I looked like, I don't even know how to explain it, but my face was ridiculously swollen. And then it was funny. Towards, like, the end, I think, like, the fourth day, maybe, the swelling, like, it just drooped down where it looked like I had a bulldog face on one side, so I looked really, really stupid. <laughs> but overall, guys, I mean, this surgery is not as bad as you think. I think a lot of it is just, like, build up of worrying yourself and making yourself paranoid. I mean, at least that's how it was for me. So for the three to four days when I had all that swelling, I slept a lot. And then I started playing a lot of video games. <laughs> so I basically beat Lego Harry Potter during that time. But <laughs> With the eating, the first several days, like, you basically can only eat soft foods. Like, I think the first day I had only applesauce and yogurt. The second day I only had applesauce and yogurt, so I was getting really tired of that. The third day... I had applesauce, mashed potatoes, and probably yogurt. I don't remember exactly. But the fourth day, I remember Shane got up early in the morning and he went and bought me a McDonald's tater tot, which was delicious, but like, I still couldn't really chew. It was like, I don't know if it really hurt. It was just really uncomfortable to chew. So I actually had to like bite off tiny pieces and just like, suck on them in my mouth till they got really squishy where I could chew them up. But, you know, even like one or two weeks after I had the surgery done, like my mouth still didn't really feel right. It didn't like want to open all the way like it used to. Now I'm totally fine, but it took a little bit for everything to like feel normal again. But like I said, now like everything's back to normal. It didn't, it was probably a month. Before I felt back to normal again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you know if you're getting ready to go in for your wisdom tooth removal I hope it goes well for you and don't freak yourself out too much because it really is not that bad. I hope like I said I hope you find this helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and sending pugs and kisses your way. Bye!